Hey dudes, welcome to Spooktober. I'm trying to get a little spooky, so we're trying to post some spooky content, but at the same time, I know Black Ops 6 comes out soon. But anyways, I just wanted to say this is a little bit of a different video, so uh, bear in mind it's a little bit longer, but it is a kind of scary, spooky game. So bear with me with this one. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, I guess also let me know, but let's just keep going, guys. Almost at 10,000. Let's keep pushing it. All right. Love you guys. See you in the video. Hello and welcome to another Fears of Fathom. I need coffee. Okay. Is there a guy over here? As much as I wanted to leave, I needed a cup of coffee. Well, no, I'm not trying to leave. I'm, I'm nosy. Hey, right, what's up? What do you want? SYD? I'm trying to get this done. What is SYD? SYD is a name? That's whack. Probably get their name changed. Oh, I'm about to steal someone's lunch. Somebody left their lunch in here. Oh, yeah, let's make a cup. Oh, we got some K cups. Okay. Yeah, we put that in. Uh, we need the water, right? A pool of water. I know how to do this. Well, <laughs> I'm getting cold coffee because that did not heat up. You see that steam? That's cold steam. There we go. Hell yeah, we can drink it. Do you think uh, I'm a creamer gal or a sugar gal? You think I added anything like that onto it? You need to use restroom. Well, good thing I checked the restroom. Oh, hold up. I'm not being polite. This is, a, this is like a girl code, right? When you walk in here, which one do I pick? Any women here? I don't think any of us are women, right? Now, if it was the men's restroom, I would like know the etiquette, but like I'm in the women's restroom. I don't know the etiquette. All oh, right, you poo in the urinals. As a guy, we'll just go in the last one. Oh yeah, these games use your microphone, huh? Hello? Must be the janitor. They're closing up for the day, right? Replacing the toilet paper. Huh, it is. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't even know you were in here. I didn't even see you, to be honest. You just got loud. I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. You know what? I don't blame you. Hello? HR the janitor wait no HR because the janitor didn't knock where I used to work the janitor always knocked and was like hello before going to the women's restroom so like come on yeah go hey, for me Orp, it's Mike. hey Mike I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours it just keeps going to voicemail is everything all right well I noticed my battery was kind of dead so oh snap I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me <laughs> uh uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Yeah, it's Damn, more overtime. That sounds rough. Good thing I, I spent the last 30 up. minutes going to the bathroom. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was totally going to do no it after work. Harper, I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Why is he saying it like that? You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sure. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora okay. and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her it'll be just like the old college days you always had a knack for finding the best spot right right of course sorry for yapping i'm just excited i guess all right talk to you later harp <laughs> me when i was 12 i was gonna put boobies <laughs> it just puts whatever like it just puts whatever we need to i could type in whatever i want like black people that'd be funny if i had like a keyboard thing on the screen see what i put Oh, that one works. Okay. No, we're, we're forced to pick this one, so. Um, a 3.1 with two reviews. Yeah, that's kind of sus. One and a half showed balance. All right, print. Let's go. I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. I feared the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't have much room for leisure, let alone social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental pace. Peace. Peace. I'm Sydney Hopper, and the story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from 
the cycle of work and my other friend Nora was quick to jump on board as well the plan was simple we rent a small cabin close our shift early on a Friday leave and be back on a Monday Mike came to pick me up yo what up are you Mike why do you look like that anyways yay Matt you look good <laughs> have it any other way it'll be nice to have a company on the way this old truck brings back so many memories you can just throw your stuff in the back all right put in the suitcase oh go. it was starting to snow isn't it weird we used to dream about escaping the college and now here we are maybe we just didn't know how much the real world you know sucks sometimes change is just hard like trying to adjust to the new job we work on this project that uses the machine's learning to predict market trends it's pretty cutting edge stuff sounds like you're shaping the future not quite tony stark yet but i'll take it look that was actually a gift from my co-worker ricky i said he found oh you didn't finish your oh snap that was close i read on the internet that in a native American lore, seeing a deer across your path is like getting a message from the universe. Okay, uh, good, good to know. Yo, Harv, check that out. Yo, the dairy place? Oh, pizza. Wow, even if I wasn't looking over here, I'd be looking over here. Oh yeah, we're stopping. Yo, know, Harv, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appears on the GPS. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm so hungry, I think I could... Eat a whole pizza myself. All right then, Harp. Operation Pizza. Pit stop is a go. Prepare to land. Is. Oh, well, into your pin. That seems about right. Balance, transfer, bill payment. Uh, we have to withdraw. Uh, $300. There you go. All right, sweet. What are you waiting for? I'm getting. I'm withdrawing money for the pizza. I actually wasn't expecting to interact with that. That was a bit weird. All right, let's get a pizza. You're not the man. Evening, folks. Look like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat. We'll get a three slices each. I'll go with the pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. Okay, a place like this, you gotta get cheese pizza. Oh my god. All right, what's your second slice? Honestly, pepperoni and cheese. Oh, there's a third? I'll do two cheese then. Eight drinks for you folks. That should cover us just the pizza today, thanks. That'll be $22.50. Oh, I can pay, I just withdraw. Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza's ready. This is, this game is sick. Long sniff. <laughs> Ugh. What, are they not allowed to make it? Did Mike do a sabotage mission? Oh man, there's like so much going, what the? What the dick? There's so much going on here. Okay, so this is the group chat. This is Rick. Hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking my property. Okay, so this is Rick. Okay, fine. I'll listen to this. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I'm going to get them as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. I busted. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. Okay, so she's just gonna be late. Okay. She's listening to us. What is it? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. Oh my god. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you didn't know what I'm talking about. What a number 27. You are interrupting my pizza time. Oh my God. Hey there, my friends. I saw y'all pulling, driving that nice old truck. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down to the road myself. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. Who freaking cares? Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where's your car? This guy clearly looks like a hitchhiker. He clearly doesn't have a car. I would probably ask that, but where you headed? Just heading where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer, just hiking the trails and seeing the country. So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Sure, you can come with us. I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, to be fair, it is, it is his truck. Don't you think we need to discuss this? Isn't that what we're doing? I'm not sure if we have extra space for another passenger. Sorry, I didn't think of that. I was just trying to be nice. Sure, you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell. 
I'll ride in the bed. Yeah, it's my friend's car. It's not really my decision, I guess. Hey, no space. I don't, uh, I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? Bro, I lit. it's not my car. It's, it's not my car. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Man, this guy's trying to guilt trip me now. No, that wasn't a threat, Mike. He's just being a dick because he didn't get a ride. No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired is all. Yeah, see, he's just, he's mad. No, what I don't get is they would ask, um, like if we were eating it here, they'd give us plates, not these. They would actually give us paper plates. But why would they give us full boxes, which then we throw away? All right, then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Dude, it looks like this guy's freaking beating his road behind you, man. Like, what is going on? Uh, Mike, look what you did. You made me crash. I crashed Mike's truck. Okay, okay, let's uh, let's get out. Are we getting out or what? Yeah, that's, I was waiting for the prompt, Mike. All right, ladies first. Whoa! Ready, the bite of 80. Oh, I'm so, what am I supposed to be doing? Oh, I had to pee. Dude, come on, ladies poop, dude. Poop for me, Harp. <laughs> oh yeah, let me text. Oh, we checked in. You feeling better after the drive? I'm good, wanna check out the house? Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. <gasps> Infinite plate glitch. Oh! Hey Mike, you need a plate? Hey Mike, you need a plate? Hey Mike, you need a plate? Hey Mike, you need a freaking plate, Mike! Oh, let's see. Looks like this place has a nice cabin, Mike. What you think? You didn't have to close the door. That that makes it a little weird. <laughs> oh my god, that actually scared the crap out of me. I forgot this was a horror game. He scared us! Oopsie daisy! I didn't mean to! Welcome to my home! Sweet home! What a lovely young couple! What's worse, her saying no, 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 or we're just friends? Eh, let's really just give it to him. No, no, no. <laughs> Oopsie daisy! Silly me! Didn't mean to cause a stir with you two! I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remembered the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try getting it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Now that you folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under in a waterfall in an Amazon jungle. Oh, that sink doesn't work, unfortunately. It's clogged up more than your mother on a Sunday. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other their bedroom now holy smokes this is incredible <laughs> incredibly cool oh! glad you folks like it this is one of my favorite spots the view of the creek is beautiful it's a great spot for fishing too all right folks let's head back in before i catch the cold here again here's the storage room if you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my f on my right. I thought that said fight for some reason. <laughs> Storms like these, you never know. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. We're getting the grand old tour, aren't we? Oh, yeah, you need any plates? All righty, folks, I see already stocked up on the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? You see my knob? Turn the knob up for me, cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter if the bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Yeah, dang it. Oh, fine, Mike, just phase through. Nothing to worry about down here, just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back to business. Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourself with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to 
keep upstairs. Did I mention, well, no, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have uh, reported hearing voices at night, said they could hear something shuffling around down there. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. <laughs> The looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now, I'm just joking. Alrighty, folks, snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road and I gotta find the cut. Oh, thanks for showing us around. What was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. Oh, it's Sydney. Ah, Sydney. That's right. I feel like you're just finding out what my name is now. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Is it just me or? Is that dude super weird? Okay, I thought you had like a musket. I thought he was about to thought he was about to push P powder down his musket to snipe all the ops. Hey Harp! Check this out! I found this fishing rod in the shed! Well it's not ours! Put it back! Oh, plenty to dinner! Now that you've mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Bro, what it's snowing? What we could ice fish, I guess. Well, it depends how cold it is, but yeah. Oh, let's do it. Let's go freaking fishing. <laughs> let's go get that rod. And I ain't talking about yours, Mikey. Oh, snap. I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp, though. You're up for the challenge? Yes. We're just gonna go fishing in the freezing cold. I hope these carp are biting today. Uh, what? holding the fish what if he was like man this bucket of fish really smells like you are while i'm cleaning the fish do you mind prepping the what sure just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste cooking oil black pepper salt italian seasoning paprika and yogurt yeah one second so we need a bowl oh, oh it just it tells me what to put in it i took a screenshot and everything uh, 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 oh yeah, there we go. Do you mind throwing it, the fish and marinade in the casserole while I chop these vegetables? Oh, hold on. Wait, we're not gonna like skin them or take the bones out? Marinade, oh. veggies. Oh, now could you add the veggies? I read it needs to go for 30 minutes on 400. 30 minutes? Let me just put some plates in here. Those carps are going to taste amazing. You know what these games do, right? They put you in like this, oh, it's just a silly little game. And then like, you forget about like, it's a scary game. Like I, I just thought in my head, I was just like, oh, I'm still in a scary game. I forgot. Like I'm over here making filet mignon with the freaking papinier. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. <laughs> I'm getting tired of doing the voices. Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Personally, I like Monopoly. Oh, Catopoly. That makes it even better. Let's play Catopoly. I would only do a Ouija board if I was like recording it IRL, but I actually like playing Monopoly. Let's play some Catopoly, dude. Sounds like fun. What do we just like knock? objects over i don't know maybe something with a bit more suspense oh, i guess he wants to play the tower game i guess that's got some suspense to it you don't you never know who's gonna win right ah tower stack nice choice harp it's been ages since i played this okay let's see how steady those hands are okay <laughs> why is he peeking over the thing like that oh sick we actually get to play i'm just gonna do this one no oh my god we're playing squid game you're a pro, Harp. Boom! Another perfect move by yours truly. Okay, I'm just gonna keep taking from the bottom, I guess. Can I take this one? <laughs> I can, in fact, take that one with ease. <laughs> smooth move. Ooh, smooth move. Oh, look, he's taking from the bottom. Yeah! That's enough. I'm good. I don't even care what he just said. I didn't even read it. I'm freaking done. I've played that like seven times. <laughs> Dang. 
He doesn't break a single plate. I like how jelly it looks too. It kind of like forms to him. I think our show is about to come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hold on. Let me get the plates. Oh, I'm about to eat this whole thing. Yeah, so We're eating around the bones. How? How? You're straight up using your hand. Where's the silverware? Oh, I can't take it. I can't take it. Uh, Harp, that was some bad food. That's good. And we caught a visual's head. Yeah, brother, that's what I'm saying. It was really good. I need to check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upset. Thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. I'll be right back. Michael J. Carter. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? What? Okay, he's trying to spook me. He's trying to boog me. It's it's bringing me, see? Nah, there's no one under his bed, man. You know what? I'll bring a plate. I'll bring a plate to protect myself. This is a horror game. It's trying to pull me back in. Walk slow. Hello? Mikey boy, are you in here? Mikey man. Need a plate? <laughs> that was loud. Your good looks. Yeah, man, those lips really just charm me, man. Like, you, you're really doing it. You wanna go for the next round? How about a game of hide and seek? Okay, you're on, I'll count to 10, all right. I decided to hide in the basement. I mean, I didn't, but sure. Decided to hide in the nook under the stairs. La 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 la, la 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 la. Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay, your turn. All right, guys, this is when we let him hide and we never go look for him. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. I'm coming. All right. Are you hiding in the pile of plates, Mike? We'll get you out. I think he's, he's not responding. Uh, Mike, we'll get you out, Mike. Oh. Oh. Why did you keep the light on? Uh, I, I think I heard something upstairs. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? Let's slide something in you. I seen this attic access door in here. Okay, go in then, pussy. Oh, wait, what? I guess we do need a chair. Go. Oh. My plate! Oh, it's a cat. That cat. Good pet the cat. Who's a cat? Looks like you aren't the only pussy in this house. What do you mean by that? It was just a cat. That's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. <laughs> no, I think the cat was hungry. Th there was no food up there. There's no litter box. There was no cat toys. Oh yeah, maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. Oh, stop teasing me. Okay, I'll actually be quiet this time. I was messing around, but... Man, this guy's got the sixth sense. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. Okay. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me and you'll go to bed. I'm coming in with my protective plate. Mike was hiding. Oh, I guess I didn't give him enough time, I guess. I'll stand ominously back here. Ominously. Well, oh, he's in here somewhere. He's probably going to scare me. Actually, he will. Oh. <laughs> And now he's got to be under the plates. <laughs> I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that. Should have told us. This is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. I mean, I guess, I guess that's true. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. Actually, that's true. That's a good point. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? I guess that's true. I guess he's got a point. Um, didn't think so. So I imagine you don't know what tools you need. Look, we need to go to bed now. You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. We don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? Can't handle that. It's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Wow, sounds great. Dummy. Stupid. The hell out of here. Yeah, I think that went, I think that went well. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. 
It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. Hello, static man. Oh, Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Uh, do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. I know, right? Can't believe that guy... He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. I thought you may be scared. I mean, to be fair, he does own the place. Um, I mean, I'm a little freaked out. Is he rizzing me up right now? Harp, you know, I've missed this. Us just talking. It's been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. I feel like he doesn't want to sleep alone tonight. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I do remember it really well. <laughs> but yeah, do tell. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Oh, snap. Sex. SOS, please. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road. Sure, babe. Mike, I'm a lesbian. Let me, let's go save my girlfriend. End of conversation. There we go. That's how we get out of this. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. And get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing. That's really nice, Mike. Please be careful. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. Listen, we're just not that into each other. Okay? Poor guy. All right, good night. Couldn't have gone to bed without locking the front door. Well, shouldn't have Mike locked it on his way out? Okay. Why is it wide open? Before I go about... Oh, this door is supposed to be open. <laughs> Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up. I need any more by the man. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. Sleep paralysis. Okay, first of all, don't answer the door at night. Ever. Hello? Oh. Oh, it's the hitchhiker. Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here i was counting on a ride from some friends but they're running behind and won't be here for about two or more hours you can sit on the porch while you wait you're not coming in end of story i'll just hit the dots the weather outside is getting pretty bad and i well i was hoping you'd be a friend and let me come inside to warm up just until my friends get here i'm sorry but i can't help you come on now my friend, you be my con down here in the blender and I'd give you a warm plane to wait in out. You freeze to death out here. I should have known you'd be as dang bitching in the creek earlier. I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. It looks like you're still unkind. Get out or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing on one now. Fine to yourself but let me tell you something you'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here the man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired i was i couldn't keep my eyes open i had to get some sleep really my adrenaline would have been pumping dude oh text rick sorry to bother you again but can you come back over there's someone we met driving down there he was banging on the door and started threatening me at the house could you please come look since you live so close Oh my god. Oh, he's here. Unless that's not really him. What the hell's going on here? Guess he did get my tip. Why would he text me back though? Did you see anyone I sent? Oh, thank god you're here. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Oh, that's good. 
You want to play a board game? By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Mike, you went to pick up uh, our other friends. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Uh, yeah, but my friends will be back soon. <laughs> Why do you look over that quick? I'm back over, what do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been in the rental in weeks. They're in the walls! <laughs> Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? Uh, my, it's my friends, they're almost here, is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by though. You can head back if you want. Uh, you sure about that? Uh, yeah. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything's really okay. Who are you? What'd you just say? I said, who are you? This is my house and I'll leave what I want to. Get out of here before the comet comes. I don't think so. Anyone is leaving this house. It will be one of us. Uh. Oh. Um, I'm gonna go hide. That's, uh, it's, it's really loud. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to hide. right there oh. Oh. that's right the guy did break the handle So, I was supposed to go to the attic. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> oh, I got it. <laughs> Does have a voice. Wait, he ran away. Can I go now? I don't know. I don't want to die again. It's kind of annoying. Oh, music's playing. <laughs> I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Yeah, cause he didn't have to like, you know, do all that. Like he probably got off on it. He was like, I'm gonna kill this, I'm gonna kill this lady. Rick asked me what the man looked like. And after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. Well, that's good. Oh, oh my god, we did it! Oh, we survived! Oh, well, thank you guys! Thank you guys for watching! Ha oh, ha! Bye bye!